The most expensive thing in our game it's Epic Quest. 13,000 crystals. You need to pick one. Hello Gank, welcome to the channel and today we're gonna go through a tire list actually for all epic quests that you have to pay crystals in front in in case if you want to unlock some specific characters and I say specific that because uh, this you know tire list has nothing to do with how good are the characters generally into the epic quest because in on every single epic quest you can progress through on Doctor Strange, you can do all the epic quests without paying anything. But after that, you know, for after X Men, you need to pay crystals to buy the deluxe pack. And for every single epic quest, there is some characters that you unlock only if you uh, pay 6,600 crystals in front. The rest of the characters, it's not the case. It's not what I'm talking about. I'm not going to talk about value of Wolverine. I'm not going to talk about the characters that you can actually get free. And yes, for all of this epic quest uh, here, Fantastic Four, Deadpool, Wolverine, um, uh, Better Ray Bill, um, uh, here, Cersei, you can get these characters for free. You need to use tickets in order to unlock some characters, uh, like Colossus here. It's really annoying playing uh, this stage to unlock Colossus. So if you manage to get one bio of Colossus, you can go and progress through the epic quest. Uh, of Deadpool. So the value here I'm talking about it's not about Sentry, it's not about Deadpool, it's not about Wolverine. It's only for the characters that you unlock as you pay the 600 crystals, uh, the 6000 crystals or 7000 or 8000 depending. And that's something I'm gonna value evaluate also uh, for you so you're not gonna be uh, confused you know. And I'm gonna start from an example which is the uh, Dark Avengers Epic Quest. But before we go through the title list, guys, yeah, 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 I forget, I forget. I want you to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. As it seems, still 50% of you are not subscribed, you are not liking. 80% of you, you're not liking the video. You're watching the video and you don't like it? Why you're watching it? You know, it's weird. Yeah, do me a favor, give me some credits, give me some boost on the YouTube algorithm so more can hook up with the channel so I can keep doing it with uh, the consistency I'm doing it at the moment. So, smash the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, etc, etc. And let me know down below in the comments, how many epic quests do you have right now, the deluxe epic quest? And, you know, like a percentage, the totality is 7, you have 6 out of 7, you have 0 out of 7. Let me know down below in the comments, I'm really curious. I have them all, I have completed them all. Uh, but yes, the example I was saying, let's go to the topic we were talking about. Yeah, I'm getting distracted a lot. So, uh, for this epic quest, the character you are getting, Sentry, is a character that you don't need to pay crystals to get the character. You just need to pay crystals for the uniform. I suggest you to buying uniforms only on, the, on when there are sales. But in the same time, the characters you are unlocking when you pay the crystals, it's Molecule Man and Moonstone. So we have huge value for Sentry that I'm not, I'm not counting right now. But trust value for Molecule Man and Moonstone. Moonstone used to be really good in the past, but now she is really outdated. There is no uniform for her. Same thing for Molecule Man. Molecule Man is at the best a good leadership for Alliance Conquest. So we are getting this epic quest, and where are we gonna put it? Into the trust value. Yes, here into the below. It's the trust value, and I made these icons actually. Fina made the icons, uh, Athena made the icons, uh, and my face here, it's uh, code blocking uh, the tire list, so yeah, here we are, you can see there is an icon with the epic quest and the two characters you are unlocking, and Moonstone and Molecule Man does not worth the 6000 crystal. so please do not do that, do not buy this epic quest, perhaps they uh, make it better into the future, but at the moment it's really, really, really trust value. 
and let's stay into the trust value and let's go into the next one which does not actually worth at all going and buying by any mean in my mind and this is yes this is this one uh, this is even worse you need to pay even more to insti if you want to unlock all the characters you know the characters are Thena, Makari and Gilgamesh and I can't actually go and show you here how you unlock them but it's a weird situation that there is uh, you have to buy for 4400 crystals two different epic quests the one has Makari the other has Gilgamesh and in the bottom you know when you complete it you get Thena all of these characters are really bad they are only good for Alliance Conquest Makari and Gilgamesh and also Cersei it's the free to play so Cersei has the most value here because she revives because of her artifact but still she's free like the situation with Sentry you know Sentry is really strong but you don't need to pay to get Sentry same thing for Cersei Cersei is the best here so that's why we're going into the Makari epic quest and we put it into the trust value epic quest so let's go into the OG paywall uh, the OG it's the original paywall um, epic quest which is the X-Men on that one there is Wolverine being meta right now everyone is talking about him but as I told you before Jean Grey and Magneto are two of the characters that can be tier 4 so the previous characters we were uh, we were at you know Makari and Gilgamesh uh, has no you can't go with them and be tier 4 here all of the characters are tier 4 the rest of the characters this is paywall this is paywall this is free the only free character here it's Wolverine actually and the worst it's Cyclops but we're not talking about that we're talking about Magneto and Jean and Magneto and Jean still have crazy value the only downside of this epic quest is that Magneto it's only seasonal but after one year and a half I think perhaps we're closing to two years in this December I think it's yeah it's two years in this December Magneto is the number one blast villain for ABL and TBX but he's covering only one day of ABL so you can get extra rewards for only one day of ABL and for ABX he can be used two times I was I'm using him for a no restriction day uh, one day of ABL and ABX that you have to use Luna on the ABL if I remember correct but generally speaking uh, Magneto and Jean are really strong. Jean is not the best for any ABL stage right now. She dethroned by uh, Wanda for ABL, but she's still the best character to use for one day of ABX. And in the same time, she is really strong for GBR. She's the number one character for GBR. He, she is destroying it. The best, one of the best PV character. I mean, it's top five in my mind. She's really strong, really good for farming. So and says, you know, she's not paywall. You don't have to wait for seasonal. So day one, if you buy this quest, you can get Jean and do yourself easier for multiple game modes. She can participate in PV and PvP with the same build. So the value is crazy here, and in my mind, this is the number one. You know this is the best value epic quest everyone should buy as soon as possible you can have yourself 6000 crystals and wait until magneto comes and buy his uniform even if there is other blast villain character come and replace him he has tags for world boss legend he has a leadership he's really strong still now for alliance conquest you know and Jean is always there. Jean's gonna get a new uniform. She's gonna transform herself into uh, a blast hero in my mind on X Men ninety seven uh, update if there is any any time. Uh, but yes, this quest in my mind it's still the number one value and it's weird. But uh, yeah, this is the re the first one and still it's the best one really strong epic quest i suggest that to everyone so let's go now into the ones that you need to see the small details and let's start you know uh from the next which is x-force for x-force you're getting psylocke psylocke it's the character we just took new uniform c is paywall so if you wanna unlock psylocke 
you need to consider that the most value she's giving to you it's by buying her uniform right now with the 30 euros or in the next summer if you're watching the video after the, the, uh, the summer deal is off other than that the only character that you can get it's strife and strife to be honest it's really cool for alliance conquest but nothing else so it's pure value for pve because she has two abl days two abl days i know it's paywall it's 30 euros 20 euros plus the 10 tokens but still she is the only epic quest character and one of the four characters into the game right now that you can build here with a brilliant raids or give you maximum build and participate in two abl days the other characters are luna dr octopus or hulk and loki so we're talking about three really strong characters that it's the best to use with a brilliant raid and after we have Silox. she's really strong and kind of replace uh, already rogue for cable because he has the uh, he has the collection of X-Force, he is close to her, uh, they, you know, Cable can cap, she's struggling a bit, uh, but yes, the value is there, so in my mind, this one, it's only if you can spend on the game the $20 and buy it, and if you value a lot the PV, you know, into uh, real high PV standards and stuff like that. The very next one that I'm going to talk about is, uh, let's see, how, let's go by one by one here. Okay, the next one is Dr. Doom. Buff Dr. Doom, guys. But Dr. Doom just took a uniform, Invisible Woman, it's there too. And all this fiasco of Fantastic Four has to do uh, that with the characters that are not performing without Franklin Richards and his artifact. All the Fantastic Four need Franklin Richard and his artifact to be good for PvP. And for PvE, Mr. Fantastic, it's amazing. Doctor Doom for PvE, he's better with his old uniform. So all this situation, it's kind of weird. So uh, in my mind, Doctor Doom, it's meta for Alliance Conquest and only that. He is top 10, I would say, you know, top 6 to 10 on PvP units for timeline battle, but I wouldn't pay 6,000 crystals to get him or Invisible Woman. Invisible Woman provides also a buff for other world battle and he's really good for other world battle too. So if your main goal is having busted teams for other world battle and you love PvP, Alliance Conquest, this is an epic quest you should go and pick. But in my mind, you know, uh, I wouldn't do that. I don't care so much about PvP. So there is some value there but not maximum value the very uh, the, the other two that left right now uh i think it's the one with better a bill uh yeah the galactic imperative uh this is gladiator guys gladiator is really strong gladiator it's one of the characters that i can cap abx easy peasy on north section day but on his restrictions, I'm really close to cap every single time. He's really strong. But the downside of this epic quest is Nova Richards haven't get any update really long time. He used to be meta support, but these days no one is using him. Uh, so the only reason to go into this quest uh, is Gladiator performance on ABL, one day of ABL. I can hit 13 million so you can get the reward yourself easy peasy and in the same time he's the best for one abx day so the most value in this one it's no other than you guess it right pv in my mind between uh Psylocke and gladiator if i had to choose you know where to put who i mean gladiator it's worth more because with gladiator you don't need to pay 30 euros you know it's simple 30 euros it's expensive from the other side Psylocke can provide two days of abl when gladiator can provide one abx and one abl but still you know the score is there you're gonna get boost your score either way two times per week so yeah i would put uh yeah i i, I could I prefer Gladiator over Psylocke. If you if someone tell me, you know what, you wanna have the other options for Gladiator, which is Odin. Uh, and after I had to build one character for combat, like Black Panther or Moon Knight, yeah. 
Gladiator saved me a lot of brain uh, because before I had to, you know, build another character for a combat hero. Now you have all in one Gladiator can do, combat hero can do, L in hero. So Psylocke, yeah, provides you the same quality but only for ABL and Cable is free. You can get him. The only uh, thing that sees replace is Rock the Paywall, but sees Paywall too. So yeah, Gladiator is better option in my mind. And the last one we have to go through is uh, how it's called? Yes, the Dark Avengers. No lies. Uh, the last one it's Goblin Queen. It's the last we have to take Goblin Queen, Madeline Pryor, Hope Summers, and with a hidden cost of Rachel Summers. This is the most expensive from all because it's 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 more expensive still. It's like uh, when the other costs 6,600, this costs 7,700, I think. And in the same time, you have to have Rachel Summers. If you don't have Rachel Summers, you need to pay for her 5,000 or wait on uh, Dimension Mission. So you need to consider this extra cost on this. Uh, the uniforms are free. There is no seasonal here. You don't have to pay real money and stuff. But we're talking about a totality of 15,000 crystals. Actually, no, 13,000 crystals. You're getting some back, but still. And the value here, it's kind of hybrid. But the point is, Madeline Pryor, it's kind of in Doctor Doom's level, perhaps worse, even worse. Hope Summers, it's the meta for one ABX day and provides help to Gladiator for the one ABX day uh, only on this season when Gladiator has to do silence and the best strikers to use for him does not provide silence. So yeah, there is value here too, but in my mind, you know, uh, doesn't really worth, uh, it's mostly PvP cause of Maidlene, uh, there is some hope, summer's value, uh, I don't want to put it on trust value, but yeah, it, it's not it's not like super super duper value or something. Uh, I'm not 100% sure how to say about that, but yeah, this is how it looks like. In my mind, still Magneto and Zin, it's the first thing you should do. After, if you care to get more rewards for ABL, go Gladiator, totally worth it. Salog is an option only if you can put your hand into your pocket. Then Dr. Doom Pack doesn't really work only if you're a fan of Alliance Conquest and other world battle, you know, crazy fan of them. After Maidlene and Hope Summers, Hope Summers is really strong, but she's not tier 4. Maidlene it's tier 4, but struggling against the top metas and the two in the bottom totally pass until they rework it and as they are going, you know, I feel like they are going to rework it really, so really soon. They started with uh, the the Jean Grey epic quest, but after that, they went really fast into Gladiator, Shylock, Doom. Uh, you know, in like three to four months, we had all the epic quest characters. So I'm waiting until the end of the year to get something from Eternals too. I mean, there is no plans for MCU, but still, there is some comics going on with Eternals. There are some stuff. Molecule Man and Moonstone are the less likely in my mind, you know, they dropped God Ember Doom and they didn't drop, a, you know, a uniform for Molecule Man or a tier 4. So these characters are supposed to be together because they are together into the comics. They skipped him, Moonstone, it's off, you know, no one cares about Moonstone into the comics or generally. So I don't feel like this is gonna get anything. Eternals on the other side, because we took an Eternal update uh, on Marvel Snap, you know, perhaps they do that on uh, MFF, I'm not sure yet, but yes. Let me know down below in the comments also your opinion, I hope I help you decide wh for what to buy next and if you have any question about how to unlock any character that you're struggling into the game and you are thinking to spend crystals for it, let me know only the characters that there is in these icons are the characters that you're supposed to pay crystals plus Rachel Summers on the Maidlink prior uh, where you can get also free. But yes, it's really hard to get it. That was it for now. See you into the next. Hope you enjoyed. Kisses in your faces.